Hello, it's time again for Tips and Tricks Tuesday. This week we have an added bonus of a fly, which is buzzing around driving me crazy and taunting me by actually landing on the fly swatter. So you may hear a little bit of buzzing as we go through this week's tip. This week's tip is something I get a lot of emails about. It's been in the product for quite some time. And the reason I usually get the emails is because people wander into this feature and they have a hard time getting back out. And the feature we're talking about is maximizing viewports. Now, personally, I love this feature. I think it's a great feature. You can decide for yourself if you like it or not. But whether you like it or not, I will definitely show you all the ins and outs so that if you do run into it, you too will know how to escape, okay? So if I wanted to work on this viewport in the lower right-hand corner of this drawing, I would want to make sure I locked it all up, right, that it was locked, the scale factor was locked so that as I went into the viewport and made the edits, I could zoom and not change the scale factor, which we've all done by accident. I prefer to use the maximize viewport capability. To do that, very, very simple. All you have to do is double-click on the viewport, and this takes you into model space. And I feel like I'm in model space. I've got the black background, which always makes me happy for some reason. You can tell it's a little bit different, though. I have this red border going all the way around here. That indicates to me that this is, in fact, that I am, in fact, maximizing a viewport here. I'm not really in legal model space, right? And I'm going to go ahead and I can zoom all I want, which is a really great attribute. I can zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> There's that fly. Zoom, zoom, zoom and I won't change the scale factor in the viewport, which makes me really happy. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to select a couple of things to erase, just so it looks a little bit different. Probably wouldn't really do that. And now how do I get out, right? So there's a couple of different ways. Probably the easiest way to get out is to move your cursor down here. You will see that there is a minimize viewport option. Simply select that and presto, you're back in the layout, right? And everything that I did in there, you'll see all the edits are still valid, but the scale factor, the zooming capabilities that I did, did not modify the scale factor, which is really, really nice. I like that. Let's do that just one more time because I want to show you the other way to get out. I'm going to double click on that. And you will see that there's this white area outside of the red, of the red border there. That is the world of paper space. So an even faster way is you can just double click on the white area and once again you are back in the layout so that is maximizing viewports if you have AutoCAD 2008 or earlier so there's just a little bit of a change in AutoCAD 2009 let's take a look at that so here I am in AutoCAD 2009 the exact same drawing I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna double click on this viewport you'll notice a couple of things one is by default the background does not turn black oh, I love the dark background <laughs> no does not that it makes a big difference it still works the exact same principle, the exact same theory, but I want you to notice that when I'm ready to get out, oh, it looks like I can still double click out here, that's no problem, that works great, but you will also notice that down here on the status bar that my option for maximizing and minimizing viewports isn't there anymore. All these other options are there, but not that one. No problem. Right click. You will see that by default this is off, but you can easily turn it right back on, move it where you want to, and you can go ahead and use this. I'm going to go ahead and select that to get back to the lovely world of your layout, right? So that is Maximize Viewports. I do like the feature. I recommend it. But whether you like it or not, you can decide. But you, now you know at least how to get out of it nice and quickly. So I hope you've enjoyed that tip. I'm going to go off and try to catch that fly. And I'll see you next Tuesday.